Hello Grade 8 Learners! For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay factoring by greatest common monomial factor. This is for Grade 8 Math Lesson. So, paano nga ba tayo makapag-factor using GCF? In our example, we have here 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y squared z. First, we need to find the GCF of the numerical coefficients. Ang mga numbers na meron dito ay 12 and 20. Ano nga ba ang greatest common factor ng 12 and 20? You can list it down. So, ang factors ng 12 ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Ang mga factors naman ni 20 ay 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So, alin dito ang greatest common factor ng 12 and 20? So, we have 4. Kasi ito yung greatest in these two numerical coefficients. How about naman dito sa variables? We have x cubed, y raised to 5, at x raised to 5, y squared z. Palagi ninyong tandaan na kailangan meron silang pareho. So, merong x dito, meron ding x dito. Merong y dito, may y dito. Dito walang z, pero dito may z. Ibig sabihin, wala silang common na z. Ang kukuhanan lang natin is yung x and y. At para madali ninyong makuha yung GCF ng variables, piliin lang ninyo yung may pinakamababang exponent. In this variable, mas mababa si 3 kaysa kay 5, di ba? Ibig sabihin, x raised to 3 ang common factor ng variable na x. Dito naman sa y, ang mas mababa ay yung y raised to 2. That means, ang common factor ng variable na y is y raised to the power of 2. Saka natin ilagay yung 4 kanina na GCF. So, this is now the greatest common monomial factor. Now, to get the second factor, you just need to divide 12x cubed y raised to 5 dito sa GCF niya. Kunin natin yung quotient ng 12 at saka 4. So, 12 divided by 4, that would be equal to 3. Ilalagay natin dito sa loob ng parenthesis. And x cubed divided by x cubed, that would be equal to 1. Or kahit wag mo nang ilagay kasi 3 times 1 equals 3 pa rin naman. And then we have here y raised to 5 divided by y raised to 2. And that is equal to y raised to 3. Kasi pag nagdi-divide tayo ng variables, you just need to subtract the exponent. 5 minus 2 equals 3. Now, let's have the second term. So, minus 20 divided by 4, that is equal to 5. And then, x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 3. Subtract ninyo yung exponent, so magiging x raised to 2. Another one, y squared divided by y squared, that is equal to 1. Or kahit wag mo nang ilagay. And then, kopyahin mo yung z kasi wala ka namang pwedeng i-divide kay z. That means the factors of this expression is 4x cubed y squared times 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. Okay? Now, let's have another example. We have 7a squared b plus 14ab minus 21ab squared. Kunin muna natin yung GCF ng mga numerical coefficients. So, we have 7, 14, and 21. So, ano ang greatest common factor ng 7, 14, and 21? Obviously, that is equal to 7. How about the variables? Tingnan natin kung meron silang a lahat. a squared, a tapos a. So, meron lahat. Anong variable ang may lowest exponent? That is a. So, ang GCF ng variable na a is a. How about b? We have b, b, and b squared. So, meron lahat. Ibig sabihin, piliin natin yung variable na may lowest exponent. Although, hindi nyo nakikita yung exponent ni b, pero meron niyang 1 sa taas. Okay? So, that is b. Now, the greatest common factor of this polynomial is 7ab. Now, let's divide the GCF in this polynomial. 
So, 7 divided by 7 equals 1 or kahit wag mo nang ilagay dito. And then, a squared divided by a, pag nagdi-divide tayo ng variables na may exponent, just subtract the exponent. So, 2 minus my 1 dito, that is equal to a raised to the power of 1 or kahit wag mo nang ilagay, a na lang. And then, b divided by b, that is equal to 1 or wag mo na lang ilagay. Okay? Plus, 14 divided by 7, that would be equal to 2. And then, a divided by a equals 1 or wag mo nang ilagay. And b divided by b equals 1 din. So, 2 na lang yung matitira. And then, minus 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Then, a divided by a equals 1 or wag mo nang ilagay. And then, b squared divided by b. Subtract mo yung exponent to minus 1 is equal to 1 or just simply letter B. So, this is now the factor of this given polynomials. Okay? Let's have another example. We have 28x cubed z squared minus 14x squared y cubed plus 36yz raised to 4. So, tingnan muna natin yung GCF ng numerical coefficients na 28, 14, and 36. Ano nga number ang greatest common factor nila? That is equal to 2. Tingnan natin yung mga variables kung meron nga bang common sa kanilang tatlo. So, we have x cubed, x squared. Dito naman ay walang x. So, hindi pwede. We have z here. Pero dito wala at dito ay meron. So, wala silang common factor na z. Next, we have y here pero walang y dito. That means, ang common factor lang natin is equal to 2. Okay? So, i-divide na natin yung 2 at maglagay na tayo ng parenthesis dito. 28 divided by 2, that is equal to 14. And then, kopyahin lang yung mga variables since wala tayong pwedeng i-divide. So, x cubed pa rin siya, z squared. Minus 14 divided by 2 equals 7. And copy the variables, x squared, y cubed. And then, we have 36 divided by 2. That is equal to 18. And kopyahin yung mga variables na y, z raised to the power of 4. So, this is now the factor of this polynomial. Okay? That's it for today's video. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!